Hi, I'm Grant Coleman from Smooth and Smoky Salad Dodgers, and today I'm cooking sun pork pork ribs. Yeah, we've had some good success with this um, process that we've been doing now for the last couple of years, and uh, last comp we had second in the comp, and uh, hopefully this, this weekend we can take out first place with this process. Our process is uh, we purchase the pork ribs of normal, and then we trim them back to the meat so there's not much fat on take the membrane off the back, and then after we do that, make sure there's no straggly bits of meat, and then have them nice prepped up nice and straight, and then we'll inject them. We inject them with uh, four monkeys pork rub and use a dash of maple syrup in that rub as well. After we inject them, uh, we give them a uh, rub. We, on the inside I use uh, killer honey bee on the, on the inside of the ribs and then I turn them over and on the outside I use a special rub uh, that's been created by myself, a mixed rub and a bit of killer honey bee, um, hardcore red and a mixture of a few other rubs, mainly a real sweet honey base rub that's what I like to use. So then we put them in the smoker um, we run the smoker at 275 the GMG um, Fahrenheit and um, we run it for about probably about an hour and a half to two hours just to the the rubs nice and dry on the top of the ribs and the main thing is there is making sure it's dry so when you do do the next process you don't wash the rib uh, the rub off the ribs. Uh, once they get to that stage um, usually around 160 Fahrenheit 165 Fahrenheit we'll take them out um, then we'll put, it, we put them in foil for the last process. Um, so what we'll do is put the foil down, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of um, maple syrup and a little bit of butter and just a little bit on the bottom and sit the rib on it and then just put a little bit of maple syrup on top of the rib. Always place our ribs meat down and then we wrap them up nice uh, two layers of foil so we don't lose any of them juices to cook in that next period. Once the ribs are cooked, you know, they've got to be nice, you've got to get that texture right. So usually, you know, we, we do a little bit of, you know, about 204, 205 uh, Fahrenheit, making sure that the texture's right, because when you, that's what the judges want, texture's the main thing. So once we get that right, we uh, take the ribs out, um, and I'll cut the ribs, and I'll cut them meat down, um, always, so I can get them nice and square, and I'll cut them, and then I'll put them on a rack, and once I put them on that rack, I'll sauce them, and I'll sauce the top sides, and uh, put them on the rack, and once they're all cut on the rack, then I'll put them back in the smoker for about 10 minutes just to get that sauce to be um, nice and sticky for the judges. So when you do present either a minimum of six, but I like to put you know eight or maybe even 10 with these nice little uh, ribs, straight ribs, and they're nice and sticky from that, putting them back into the pit. Uh, if I give anyone advice on pork ribs, my main thing is to have a nice rub, a uh, nice sauce so it's nice and sticky so people like it, but you've got to make sure that texture's right. If that texture's not right, so when you bite it, it actually bites off the bone, it doesn't fall off the bone and, it, and you know, everyone will enjoy it.